diagnosis finally came around on April 9th, 2012. It was a life-changing moment. Terrified. Am I going to live very long? What about my children? Did I teach them everything they needed to know? Did I teach them all the manners they needed to know? Did I teach them to value themselves? I heard the bus rolling down the road and I knew at this moment was well, going to be very hard. The bus got there and everybody came running up to me. Well, mom, did you get the call? What did the doctor say? And all I could hear was my daughter say, Mom, are you gonna die? I asked her right whenever I got off the bus, I ran and she was standing on the other side of the car. And I asked, Mom, do you have breast cancer? And she said, she just like knelt down and started crying. And to her, that's her way of saying yes. That day I had a fun day, which made me forget about what she was gonna say. And the moment I got home, I was devastated. Well, after we got further into the uh, testing and found out that it was breast cancer, um, I knew right then I had to be strong not only for her, but for the kids too. My daughter asked me, Mom, is your breast cancer contagious? To think the mind of a child, not really knowing the magnitude of this, but to only wonder, is she gonna get it? Is it going to hurt her? When Amanda's first um, treatment for his chemo, I mean, you know, I was scared for her too, and I knew she was scared. And um, I mean, just the thought of that medicine going through, through her and just not knowing. But uh, I mean, her strength, just being able to go in there and let it happen, you know, made me strong too. I had to be strong for that. But inside, I was very scared for her. My favorite thing um, about being a supporter for my wife through all this would be when I look around and I see the kids are comfortable knowing that I'm gonna be there and I'm strong for them, which strengthens them. And for my wife to look at me and know at this, at this point that she knows I'll be there to the end of it. Happy I received help through Coleman Austin. And without them, my life wouldn't be complete. I wouldn't be here to take care of my children, to help the next woman on her journey. One of the difficult parts is, of the job is when we have to turn people away because we just don't have the funding that we need to help these women. That's why it's really important to continue to support programs like Coleman Austin so that we can um, provide these free breast health services for women in the capital area who need mammograms, who need biopsies, who need connection to funding for their breast cancer treatment. Sometimes we do have to say no to people that, that come to us requesting help. It's really important to fund programs like this so that we're able to help every woman that comes to us needing breast health services. 75% of everything that we raise here stays here and 25% goes to global research. So when you make a donation to Coleman Austin, you are not only making a local investment in the women that need your help the most, but you are also making an investment in global research to help find a cure to breast cancer once and for all. Breast cancer changed my life, but I am here today because of the help of these resources.